Hey racers, this is Brent Picasso with Autosport Labs. And what we have for you today is a project that can save your race team quite a bit of that hard earned cash. What we have going on is a project that shows you how to build a DIY helmet microphone for your race car's two-way radio setup. Now I realize that like us, you're probably on a pretty tight budget. You may still be relying on the pit boards for driver communication, like driver change, or check your fuel, or whatever. Stepping up to a two-way radio system is a pretty expensive proposition. You're looking at five, six, seven hundred dollars for a complete setup, if it's good quality. So we have, um, a, it's a UHF industrial radio system. This one is made by Black Box. It's uh, a Motorola clone. It runs at 400 megahertz. Uh, 400 megahertz is good for um, punching through terrain and it has a higher wattage output than your typical FRS radio setup. It's, it's rugged, it's high quality. I think it's a great investment. The thing is, is when you have it, once you have it set up in your race car, you have the car wiring harness, you have the radio installed in there, you have the, the push to talk button, what you'll still need is a helmet mic for each of your drivers on your team. Now, the helmet mics, when you buy them online, these things run, it's surpri they're surprisingly expensive. They'll run about $100 in a low $100, $110. And what you get is um, a good quality microphone, looks nice. Um, it has a, a set of earbuds. And yeah, I'm sure it's really good quality and it'll work perfectly fine. The thing is, when you have four to six drivers on your team, you're looking at you know, four to $600 just to outfit your drivers with the helmet mics. What I have here is a DIY helmet mic that we built using a commodity PC microphone. And all the, the parts for all of these components if you're scrappy and resourceful, you can, you can build this for under $10. So what we're talking about is for $40 or $60, you can outfit your entire team with helmet mics. So let's go over the components. We have a commodity PC microphone. This is uh, kind of the old school microphones that you don't really see anymore. Um, you can find these at the PC Recycle shops. This one is made by Creative Labs. It's the, uh, it's the microphone that has like the, it looks like a stereo plug that plugs into the back of your computer. It's not USB, you definitely don't want a USB microphone. And the microphone is plugged in, it's wired in I should say, into the back of this phono adapter right here. I'll move over. So this phono adapter is what plugs into the race car wiring harness. What also comes out of the phono adapter is a wire for your earbuds. So and then you're, you could just use regular earbuds for this, um, like for your iPod or whatever. So to go over, you need the microphone, which you could get surplus from a used um, computer recycler. You get like from Radio Shack or from a similar electronics vendor, you get a stereo quarter inch phone plug. You can get a, uh, a solderable inline eighth inch phone jack for your earbud connection. Or you can be like me, I'm incredibly lazy. I simply got a, an extension cord. This is an eight foot a headphone extension cord. And what I did was, see we have it here. What I did was I took it and cut off all of it but about a foot. And what you get as a result is a nice molded pre-soldered connection and it works really well. So you have two options there. All right, so in a second, I'm gonna show you uh, exactly how to wire this up and we'll go from there. 
Okay, here it is. The wiring diagram for the DIY helmet microphone. What we have here in green is the quarter inch phone plug that you saw earlier. Down here on the left are the connections to the earbuds. And up here in the top represents the connections for the microphone. So wiring this is pretty straightforward. You'll want to start with the microphone connection. So when you get your surplus microphone, cut the cord off by about a foot. And when you strip back the insulation, you'll, you'll typically find a single wire inside. Usually it's colored red. And this red wire gets connected to the tip of the phone plug. On the earbud side, the radio puts out a mono signal. So what you'll want to do is connect the left and the right of your earbud connections to that mono signal. And that gets connected to the middle segment of the phone plug. Now, if you're using like the, uh, the extension cable like we did, you'll want to take that extension cable, cut it, uh, give it about a foot, and when you, when you strip back the insulation, you'll find a black and a red wire in there. You'll want to join those, the black and the red wire together for that connection to the middle segment. Okay. Now, both the microphone and the earbuds will have a shield. And the shield looks like um, a braid or a foil wrap around the wires inside the cable. And this is used to protect against electrical interference. The shield for the microphone and the shield for the earbuds will connect to the base of the phone plug. All right, so there's one final piece and I would call this the secret ingredient for making this work. And what you need to do is get a resistor and this resistor allows the microphone to work properly. So, and it's pretty easy to do. All you do is you get a 10K resistor and you can get this resistor for like from Radio Shack or another supplier. And you wanna wire the resistor between the base and the tip of the phone plug. Now it's really important you get this resistor in the circuit because if, it, if you don't have it, the microphone just won't work. So the resistor is small enough to where you can just wire it up inside the housing of the phone plug. That's pretty, pretty straightforward to do. So there you have it, the DIY helmet microphone. We'll have a full write-up of this project on our wiki at autosportlabs.net. And we hope you give this project a shot and uh, we like hearing from you to see how it turns out. All right, thank you for watching.